Well, hey, it's time for gaming. Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to It's Time for Gaming. Um, it's me, Ethan, and we're here at the Rito Village. Um, we got here last episode and we did the shrine, and now we're here to figure out, like, what's wrong with them and, uh, save the, uh, the Zord here. I mean, Divine Beast. It's totally not Power Rangers. Alright. Boop. Move my mic over. Um... So we got a couple things to do on our checklist here. Um, one of which involves going to the shop, which I believe, oh, this is the inn. That's fine. Then this should be the shop. Right, 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 right. Um, yeah, no. Yes, these are what I want. Hello. Five arrows, 200 times five. Oh, these are just regular arrows. Okay. Yay. Ooh. Hold on. Let me see how much how much money I have. Or how much... Can I sell anything? The Slippery Falcon. Oh. Uh-huh, but I want to sell. Oh, here to sell. I'm so dumb. Hi. Set it here, folks. Um, yes. I have lots of things to sell, I think. No, go over. Come on. Oh, wait. No. Okay, Ruby. Yeah. Um, definitely the opal. Oh. Yeah, let's do two. Of the let's do all. Let's just do all three. Yeah, uh -huh, of course. Oh. oh, and then we have some sapphire. Yeah, I would love oh. to. Um, yeah, that's that's it. That's it, y'all. I don't want. Ooh, I don't want to sell the lemon stones. So I kind of want those. Um, chill shrooms. I'll keep those, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's it. I don't really have anything else. Oh, you can sell these. I didn't know that you could sell these. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't need these. And I don't even think upgrading them matters, so. All right. I want to buy the, maybe the warm pants. Yeah, here's the shirt store. What's this? The snow quill tunic. Lined with molted Rito feathers. Tunic is made by Rito artisans for vi Highlands visiting cold climates. Feathers are stacked in each layer to retain body heat. Oh, that's nice. But I want, no, I don't want the headdress. I want this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Easily done. Oh, yeah, that's how you shop. Yeah, it is, buddy. Now, now we're going to buy bomb arrows. Um, yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, you will. I'll be back. All right. Now it's off to talk to the elder and see what's up with this jazz here. No. No. Where is the elder? Is he all the way at the top? I think he is, yeah. Moving on up. What's up? A birdie. Oh, no, I don't. Not right now. Well, I'll just talk to you anyway. Huh? Want me to tell you a story? I love stories. Awesome, me too. Ham. Once upon a time, my grandpa stopped at a big tree while he was climbing a big mountain and looked below him to the north of west, when suddenly he saw a huge snow-white birdie with its wings spread wide. My grandpa took off flying after the snow-white birdie, and he got a little closer to the white birdie. Gra and as he got closer, a little closer to the white birdie, grandpa saw something super, and super important inside its belly. The birdie had swallowed... Well, what was it? 
I always get sleepy on that part of the story, so I don't remember. Oh! I know where the big tree is, though. Oh, it's over there. You see it? Grandpa said he saw the Snow White birdie from that tree. Dope. Hmm. Now what did that Snow White birdie swallow? I can't hear the story from Grandpa anymore. Oh, that's sad. All right. That's a shrine quest. That's dope. We love shrine quests. Uh, no. That's the landing. Aha! What's up? Wait, whoa. You're not a Rito. Morning, morning. Oh, I just realized that you're Hylillian. You're just wandering through around Hyrule trying to find yourself? Sure. Yes, actually. I'm here on my honeymoon, but this town is seriously a hole. In Jared's town, they've got jewelry to buy. Doors are made as always a hoot with all the weird spiritual fish people. But here, I just want to go home already. Really? Give me a break already. I can't believe my husband brought me here for our honeymoon. He already apologized, but he doesn't want a divorce. He told me he better bring me a baked apple. That's... That's, uh... Kind of demanding. It's 940. Good morning! Ah, oh, visitor, welcome to... Oh, oh, ooh, that object on your hip. Could it be? Forgive me, where are my manners? Ooh, I am Kanoi, the elder of this tribe. Ooh, now then, is that not a sheikishly dangling from your hip? Oh my, so it is true. That means you must be a champion like Master Rivali. One of the few able to board Divine Mies Vamado. <laughs> no, what am I thinking? The champions have all been dead for a hundred years. This boy must be a mere descendant and inheritor of the Sheik Slate. Ah, yeah. oh, forgive me. <laughs> Champion descendant, if you would listen to this old man's request, you would have my eternal gratitude. I'll listen. Thank you, <laughs> truly. Now that I know you have the blood of a champion, there is something I must ask of you. How shall I put this? I would like you to deal with divine beast Vamado, the giant beast circling above us. <laughs> Only a chosen one, a champion, can stop a divine beast. You must enter the beast and bend it to your will. I tried explaining this to the more headstrong Rito warriors, but they wouldn't listen to reason. Teba and Hoth tried to confront Mado, but it did not go well, and Hoth was injured. Teba escaped unscathed, but I fear he now plans to face Mado alone. As a descendant of the champions, perhaps you can help us. Please, find Teba. If you work together, you may be able to stop Divine Beast Va Mado. <laughs> Alright, alright, man. New, ob oh, new objective. Alright, that's... Very dope. Can I... F How hot tall up is this? I think it's a little taller. Let's... Let's look around for some stuff. Actually, let's go to our map. Oop, that's not the map. Nah, that's not the map. Where's my map? This button. Alright, so let's move out here a little bit. Alright. Uh, let's delete this pin, because I already know where it is. Alright. Cool. All right. Perfect. So now we're going to we're going to put some pins and things cuz we've got some stuff to do. I saw there was a sh a shrine in the distance. Um where was it? Oh, maybe I should go ransack that. Hello. There's one. And I think there was another somewhere that I saw already, but I didn't mark, because you know, why would I do that? Um, okay. Oh, I remember the guy also told me that the, uh, the Great Fairy Fountain by Tabanth is by Tabantha Tower. Hmm. I don't have enough money for it, so that's fine. I won't go. All right, so, oh, do I have to go, wait, where do I have to go? Wait, 
Wait, are you the injured guy? Sigh. Oh, Fison. Hey, what's up? So you've seen it? Divine Beast Vamado? Yeah, I saw it. Everyone in the village is freaking out because of it, but I have bigger problems. My mom is so annoying. She asks me to help out the store every single day. I can't take it anymore. I don't want to just help. I want to open my own store and sell whatever I want. Okay, Fison, don't worry. I'll remember you, my guy. You need him for a different... You need him for a different uh, quest. We'll do that eventually because the uh, the benefits for it are pretty good. Um, yeah, I have to go up and I have to talk to, to I have to talk to Hearth. I forgot that and I just flew all the way down to the bottom. All right, come here. Where where is he? Is he over here? There he is. No. Wait. Do I have to talk to his... The Traveler? Oh. Forgive my intrusion. Forgive my intrusion, but I overheard you speaking with the Elder. It sounds like you intend to help my husband Tabla in the fight against Mado. But to tell you the truth, there's not much I can do for you right now beyond telling you where my husband went. Where'd he go? Well, my husband decided to head to a place called the Flight Range. Oh. It's in Dronix Pass at the base of the Habra Mountains. It's a place where Vita warriors prepare for aerial combat. Oh. I imagine he's gone there to gather weapons for another run at Mado. As it happens, he made his way to the flight range on pat on foot this time. That way? If you take off from Rivali's Landing, it's a straight shot down to the flight range. Rivali's Landing is a memorial for the Rito champion Rivali. So named the hope that none might forget the events of that horrible day. Yes, yes, cutting, cutting, cutting. I love this. Brain Blast! <laughs> so dumb. Oh, I love... This ship's so cool. It's just a giant bird. Oh, look, and there's me. A hundred years younger. Uh-oh. Rivali's the coolest champion. Fight me. Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yeah. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, yes, it's kind of important. It's just asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong. Maybe we should just settle this one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> Don't don't start oh, fights. Don't start How fights you can't there? finish. What a joke. Oh, you must mm, be than me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. What a jerk. This is why we lost. This is why we lost cuz we weren't fighting together. We were not a team. We were five individuals. Descendant. Descendant? Descendant, are you alright? My apologies. I fear I've said far too much. But if there's anything you can if there's anything you don't understand, please do not hesitate to ask. Got it. Alright. Wait, I thought you said from here. And you go that way. Wait, where's the map telling me to go? Okay, well, I guess the map is in the right place, right? Oh, I guess that's another way to get there. But why wouldn't I just go this way? 
All right. I'm going to go here. I haven't seen your husband, by the way. Can you move, please? Sorry. Where, what's... What did I mark green up here? What green thing did I mark? Where is it? Wait, what? I don't remember marking. I'm just going to go over there. I don't remark remember marking anything green while I was uh, doing anything, or just now. Oh, I feel like there's a Korok up here. I feel like this would... Oh, no. It's raining. What did I do? Oh, I'm I killed myself. <laughs> I'm the absolute worst. Okay. I think there might be a Korok thing up here, so let's just check. I should have just done that instead of changing my mind halfway through. That's what happens when you don't commit. And you see, I died for nothing because there, no, there was no Korok thing here. So, that's lovely. Um... All right, let's. Bop, bop, bop. Yeah, there we go. Got that nice shrine thing going on. I really hope that there's not like just a random lion all about. Oh, wait, hold on. No. That's why we just bought these. Oh. Oh, do we need both? Okay, that's fine, I guess. I, that's fine. I don't care about wearing both. Give me... Jeez, three... Where is it? Where are you? Stop! The fact that I can't hit this thing is ridiculous. It's going to disappear. Ah, I suck. I'm the worst hunter. I, I, I'm literally the worst. I would die. Oh. Um... Ow. I suck. Do these horses just not see? Oh, no, they see me. That's fine. Um, what am I supposed to do about... Oh, I don't... Do I have any? No, no. Ooh, a big hearty truffle. I, I, I will just fight you, dude. Actually, will this make this easier? Um. Yeah, that actually... No, not my boomerang! My favorite weapon! Yeah, that sucks. Oh, cool. Ooh, it's a frozen Lozolfo's tail. Alright, so now let's do this shrine without letting any of those... those duders see us, right? Because that would be not the greatest... Oh, that's the flight range. Okay, cool. Shavlarvo Shrine. 
Yeah. Examine. Let's get down in here. Path of the Hidden Winds. All right. This should be one of the... I think this is one of those easy ones. I'm just looking around. Oh, wait. Oh. Uh, can you... Did you... Oh, I want those. Mm, that's unfortunate. Give me this. Okay. Rupees are dope. I'll take rupees. Yeah. We want those. Oh, wait. Out of here, and then... I don't know where this one goes. Oh, 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 come back! No, I missed it! I missed! How could you miss? He was five feet in front of you! Okay, I'll just wait. I'll just... I'll just wait. Hello, ladder. I thought I was going to fall off again. And I was going to be so upset. Was that... Was that it? Is that the shrine? I don't really feel like that was much to that. Up, up, and away, whip. Oh, yeah. You have to find the other half. Or the other shoot. There it is. I vaguely remember this one. Thank you. Oh. Nope. We're not done here. No chest left behind. Can you glide, please? Come here, 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 come here. Don't, 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 okay. Woo! It's gonna be, ooh, a knight's bow. Uh, wait, did, I thought I just broke one of my bows. Did I not? Break. I thought I just, wait, broke. Yeah. Drop. All right. So we got a soldier's bow. This is very nice. It's very handy, for I am a soldier. That's not enough. Lift off. What? Come on, dude. Can you can you get all the way up? There we go. Go in. I don't know why you bumped the wall and then decide to put it away. Uh, there we go. Look at that. Such an easy shrine. We didn't die once. I'm so proud of myself. Your resourcefulness to overcome this trial speaks of a hero. Thanks. All right, so just one more, and we'll have enough for another upgrade. More stamina, probably. Yeah. And then maybe we'll work on some more hearts. Come on! This is wow. This is taking a while. Loading each in snow. Loading in each snowflake. All right. So now we're gonna go over here to the flight range. I want to know where his wife was trying to take me because she showed me a different area. Or maybe she just said to go to Ravali's landing and jump off of it. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess I'll just get rid of my... Of all of my stuff there. Was there anything in the chest? Oh, cutscene, yeah. This guy's really cool. Hi, I'm Link. I don't know you. I just said my I'm name. I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. But I come to help. Is that all he's going to say? Oh, I was hoping for more of a cutscene. That's sad. All right. Did you need... I can help you. Help me. With what exactly? Vamado. Let me get this straight. Some random Hylian wants to help me bring down Divine Beast Vamado. I'm not buying it. What's your name, stranger? Like I said, I'm Link. Link, huh? Well, Link. I'm Teba, but you already knew that. I'm guessing the Elder asked you to come here and talk some sense into me, am I right? That's right. Just the Elder to trust any fool wandering into town. Look, you seem like an alright guy, but let's make one thing clear. I'm not going anywhere. As a Rito warrior, I can't rest until my people are safe. There's only one way I'm going back to Rito Village. And that is? Once Divine Beast Vamado falls from the sky. If I have to kill Mado, so be it. Then only then will I return to the village. Well, let's get started then. Are you serious? <laughs> well, far be it from me to talk you off a ledge. But it's as the elder said, the only way to stop Divine V's Vamado is to get inside it. Fat chance of that happening. There's no way we can set foot in Mado. Actually. So not only are you wingless, you're brainless too. Let me fill you in. The only people able to enter the Divine Beast are the five champions of old. And unfortunately for us and the rest of Hyrule, they all died a hundred years ago. And if it hadn't been for Ganon, never mind. Let's focus on bringing down Mado. One step at a time. If we approach Mado recklessly, its cannons will blast us out of the sky before we even get close. So I'm going to need to test you before I take you with me. We Rito warriors use the updraft in this ravine to hone our aerial archery skills. The updrafts are so strong here that a person could just open a cloth over their head and float up easily. Now let's see what you're capable of. You'll have to maneuver through the air and destroy five of the targets set up in this valley in three minutes. I'm ready. Then go destroy five targets with your arrows. Let's do this, y'all. Two, one. All right. So we're gonna first switch to our swallow bow and and one and can I hit it from the side here? And no I can't because I just can't aim. There we go. And there is one over there, right? Will that hit over there? No, I just need to actually aim at the thing, right? There you go. And one more. Oh. Oh, wait. I don't know what happened. There it is. Okay, come on. Let's go back. Let's go. I am the greatest archer in all of Hyrule. The Hyrulean Sniper. You're a skilled archer. It was only as if time stopped with every arrow you let fly. Actually, because it did. I've got to tell you, Link. When you first showed up, I thought someone was pulling a prank on me. But after seeing you handle that bow, I can tell you're the real deal. You must have seen a battle or two. Hundreds of them. I believe it. Link, I feel as I've heard that name somewhere before. Well, if you really want to help me bring down Mado, it's now or never. I'll get you into position so you can give the cannons all, you, all you've got. Inside that treasure chest is a bow I've modified. Take it and let me know when you're ready. Oh, open! Which one is it? Oh, it's the falcon bow. Okay, all right. Let's, oh, I'm so excited. Inventory. 
Bye. All right. All right. I think this is a good time to stop before we go storm vomito. So thank you everybody for coming and hanging out on uh, this episode of It's Time for Gaming. I was Ethan. Don't forget to go uh, follow the uh, the TikTok. It's time for gaming. Um, and the uh, Twitch and Twitter. And I hope everybody has a good day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>